Hi, it's Christian from Hi-Fi Advice. What you are about to see is not so much a review, but more of a showcase of a fortunate owner's two audio systems, both based around Absolare amplification. I'll save the best for last and start with the secondary system. Although this system is a work in progress and the speaker positions are not yet optimized, the music grabs you instantaneously with fierce dynamics, deep and powerful bass, an immediate communicative midrange and open airy treble. Now for the main system. Kronos turntable's two platters rotate in opposing direction in order to cancel out vibrations. The rotational speed is changed by touching a sensor. This is the SCPS-1 DC accumulator power supply that actively switches between two capacitor banks while the inactive one is being charged. Suspended from 317 O-rings made from a special mixture of phyton and silicone, the upper section is fully floating. In this configuration, the Kronos turntable sounds superbly open and infectiously rhythmic, yet also hugely involving. The digital source is a CEC TL0 belt driven CD transport. Interestingly, this transport sounds rounder and more relaxed than the turntable, but also less exciting and less engaging. This MSB Diamond Duck may be of the previous incarnation. But with its femtosecond clock and diamond power base, you can be sure that it still rates among the world's best DA converters. All the absolare components that are used here are tube based, yet the system sounds extremely open, fast and exciting. All the components are set up on custom absolare platforms and pedestals. This is one of the two absolare push-pull power amplifiers that are currently in use. Although these are spectacular performers, the owner told me that he normally uses the less powerful, but more seductively sounding single-ended triode amplifiers. The AK 
Aquila has a constrained layer enclosure with a varying thickness of 7.5 cm for the side walls up to 12.5 cm for the front bevel. As mentioned, this is not a review, but I will mention that this system plays in an unexpectedly articulate and dynamic manner. Due to room interactions there is some cancellation, leading to a slightly lean upper base and lower mid-range. But these are sins of omission, not of commission. There is zero room boom, no coloration and no blur. But the base does go very deep and is impressively quick and crisp. Likewise, there is absolutely no excess of warmth or thickness, nor any restraint whatsoever in the mid-range. The system's combined sound is impressively direct, open and communicative. And probably not at all what one might expect from an old tube system.